Hi, this is Gina Rachmaninova on location from Native Underground Media. The reason I'm underground today is I'm meeting up with some Ukrainians. It's actually a dance group called the Dnipro Ukrainian Dance Ensemble. And when we take a look at this group with the athleticism and the agility that's required, you'll get to kind of see how this Ukrainian folk dancing actually matches up to our break dancing. And while I'm there, I'm going to actually try to use a few moves and take a few moves back home with me. So, let's go visit our Ukrainians. Yeah, we'll take it from the ladies coming up. Okay? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, six, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey. Sorry. We have Chris who is in the hot seat here. Chris is the youngest <laughs> member of the group. Um, what brought you to the group? Um, well, uh, uh, one of my fam, like one of my friends from my family, uh, they were doing it, and um, they invited me. And I, I mean, I was in third grade, and. Um, I just sort of, okay, I'll, I'll guess I'll go, and I, I just really enjoyed it, and it was very fun. Okay. Do you take gymnastics or anything on the side? Um, I am starting to take gymnastics. Mm -hmm. One of my friends here actually started getting me to do gymnastics, and yeah, so that's really helpful too. Okay, now I like the shoes here. Explain the construction of the shoes there. Um, How does this work? Well, these are jazz shoes, and pretty much it's just a heel and some padding for the toes, okay. and then just the heel, just like this part is just cloth so you can really bend your your foot and you can just do a lot okay and just it's very flexible and very comfortable to wear when dancing okay now notice that you folks do a lot of work that requires a lot of squatting and jumping and bending mm -hmm. so how do you keep from blowing your knees out <laughs> um practice just yeah. practice strengthening just mm -hmm. it all it just all comes up to help to dance and just st not injure yourself of course injuries always happen okay and just so you just you're almost lucky that you don't get injured when practicing. So. Okay. All right, cool. Thanks, Chris. Mm -hmm. What brought you to the group? My friend Russ over there, mm -hmm. who is like, Yo, Max, you should dance, and I'm like, I should, and I came here and I danced, and it was cool. Okay. So you have any other dance training, modern jazz, um, anything like that? Well, well, I came from Ukraine, so did he, but he just kind of like introduced me because I'm like. We're both Ukrainian, let's both dance, it's, it's cool. So we're just like, um, but the modern, everyone says that it's like, and I guess it is, it's like the ancient, like, thing, start of break dancing, kind of, and it kind of is actually, I think. True. It's, it's, it's close to it. Right. It's close to it. Okay. So have you, how would you compare this to, say, for instance, break dancing and some of the other contemporary dances or hip hop dancing? There's a lot of jumps, a lot, a lot of squatting, a lot of kicking, a, like all this crazy moves and stuff, and you don't really see as much of that repeatedly in other dances, mm -hmm. I, I guess, as, as you do in this. Because this is more of like a workout than just a plain slow dance, you know. Okay, now what other training do you do to keep the cardio, or is the dance just it to <coughs> keep you in shape here? Um, well, we, yeah, we just mostly just dance, like practice, like before we did, like two, like, um, two hours like a day on Monday and then like three hours on Tuesday. So we just, we, we just dance every week, we stretch, we just make sure that we're fit and stuff, we just try and keep our best and stuff, Pre practice all the time and it just turn, turns out well. Okay, cool. Thanks, Max. You're welcome. <laughs> three, four, and a hip, six. Seven. Some of our dancers that are part of our group, actually half of them aren't even Ukrainian, they just really enjoy doing the dancing. We have two gentlemen that were adopted from Russia. We also have several dancers that were from Ukraine, um, originally Mariana's from Ukraine, Max, Russ, Tanya's also Ukrainian, she's not from Ukraine though. I'm Ukrainian, Danya's Ukrainian, I know. Um, and Andrea is also Ukrainian. Okay, now Danya wants to take the hot seat here. Sure. 
You are the newest member of the group. Yep. What brought you to the group? Um, well, when I was a kid, I did do dancing for a long time, and then one of my old friends kept bugging me to do it once I moved up here, mm -hmm. and I kept saying I was too old to do it, too old to do it, and then finally I caved. So. <laughs> okay. Now, the question I have for dancers is, are you on any kind of special diet so you guys can stay slim <laughs> and trim and fit? Well, I'm on the I'm getting old diet. Um, I don't know, for dancing, when I was a kid and like dancing more seriously, I was figure skating at the same time and I was on like a um, no red meat kind of diet, stuff like that. Now I don't think that really pertains. A lot of our members are really young and they probably do whatever the hell they want. So um, we just try and, you know, focus on making sure we stay healthy. Okay. Thanks. Man. Next on the hot seat here from Libra is Amy. So Amy, go ahead and uh, tell us more about the group here, how it started. Uh, we started in the 1960s. The director at the time was Nick Proska. And it was actually two different churches. We had St. Michael's Ukrainian Church and St. Mary's Orthodox Church. And then we combined and we became the Pro shortly thereafter. Okay, have you gotten a chance to go on some of the overseas tours? Yes, actually, um, I've been to Japan, um, Disney World, Ukraine. Um, the group also performed at, on the Today Show, but I wasn't part of that. I wasn't born yet, actually, <laughs> when, they, when they did the Today Show. Okay. Now, when you went to Ukraine, how was the reception? Yeah, were they skeptical, maybe, that a group from America could come all the way over here and still do the dances, or? Surprisingly, they were very open. Mm -hmm. um, and they welcomed us with open arms. They enjoyed everything that we did. They came to all of our dances. Okay, and you know, I do have a question on packing and traveling with the uh, wardrobe. Um, I don't have a lot of really good pointers. Um, but we do have, if we have several costumes that we're performing in, we just tell them to bring everything that they own. Mm -hmm. So if they have to fill in for another group that there's not an issue, or another dancer, I'm sorry, that there's not an issue with their costume pieces. Um, we make sure that they iron all their costuming before they come. And the head pieces should be kept separate for the ladies because of the ribbon so they don't get wrinkled. And I like the shirt there to explain your uh, dude logo there. Um, it's the initials for our group, Nipro Ukrainian Dance Ensemble. We just had a maid. Okay, great. Okay, thanks. <laughs> My knee. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I'm supposed to have both of them on because my knees are bad. Okay. Uh, from, I don't want to say from this, just this. I, I, will, um, I do other sports besides dancing, mm -hmm. uh, like snowboarding, basketball, football, um, and this. But this is probably the hardest out of all the things I do, okay. out of all the sports. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really, really a lot of hard athletic moves. For guys mainly, you have to do a lot of squatting and kicking and leaping and and I'm like what Max said earlier, it is kind of like break dancing. And actually, I did break dance with some of the guys that I'm starting out with, and I learned faster than most guys that start. But I like this better because I'm born from Ukraine, okay. and it's my tradition, and it's fun. It's a good time. All right. And how long have you been with the group? Uh, <laughs> long time. Uh, I've been with the Dolls Group since 1998, mm -hmm. which is what, how many years is that? 11. 11 years. 11 years now. 11 yeah. years, jeez. Mm -hmm. It's been that many. And then I started when I was 12, when I came to this country, and my mom introduced me to this group. Okay. Do you have any tips for anyone wanting to start dance? Uh, yeah, it's, um, it's cool. <laughs> it's fun. We get to travel. Mm -hmm. We get to see a lot. We wear cool costumes. Uh, we're back away from 15th century. Mm -hmm. And it is just a lot of. You get to meet girls. I met a lot of girls. I actually yeah. had quite a few girlfriends that I met uh, through dancing. Uh, and I'm sure girls get to meet guys or if they want to. Uh, Cut that part out. I was gonna say something really bad, but okay. Um, now, how, how do you keep up with um, 
like research for what costuming, what dances come from which Region. regions, right? Uh, we learn through well, history mm -hmm. books, just uh, videos, and you can just go on the internet, type it in Ukraine, and it'll have hundreds of different regions. Yeah, okay. mainly there's like five. There's like five top mm -hmm. regions, and everything else is very small. Okay. So, yeah. Are you finding any of the regions where the dance forms are starting to die out? I don't. I don't there's so many. I don't. I don't know all of them even. Okay. But uh, the popular ones are not even close. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Thanks, Russ. Thank you. Okay, I have a joint interview. You are? Mariana. And? Stephanie. Okay, tell me about yourselves. I've been dancing since I've been eight years old. I came here from Ukraine, so mm -hmm. I started right away. I think I came here in the spring, so in the fall we started for the folk fair. We do it every year. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got started. So I went through the kids group, then the youth group, and then now in the adult group since, I want to say 2000. We joined together. The adult group. <laughs> <laughs> we pretty much do all our duets together. <laughs> okay, the duets. We're stuck at the hip. Yeah. Okay. Um, I started Polish dancing. I'm one of the non-Ukrainians. Um, not Ukrainian by blood, but definitely they've taken me in and okay. learned the culture and the, just um, the character of the dance. Um, mm -hmm. I've been doing this since 2000, like she said. Love every minute of it. Okay. Traveling, everything. Now, do you have a crew seamstress that, you know, in case uh -huh. you get a... We'd like to find <laughs> one. <laughs> okay. We do have the hair braider, the group. Okay, the hair braider. And who, who's your medic in case you get injured? Andrea. Andrea, she's, she's a doctor. doctor. She's a med student. Andrea's a med student, okay. And my other curious question was, um, for a big group like this, how do you all get the matching boots? Is it special order or custom made? Or we order a lot order. of our boots from Ukraine. Mm -hmm. We'll find vendors that are reliable and we'll go through them on a regular basis. Oh, okay. Cool. But it's each by individual order. So mm -hmm. everybody, depending upon when they need new boots, is when we spend the order. <laughs> Okay, great. Um, any other tips for anybody wanting to start? I mean, I, I, this is like physically strenuous dancing there. It takes a lot of cardio. Tips for anybody wanting to start dancing? No, just come on down Tuesdays. Yeah. Come on down on Tuesdays. Okay, cool. If you're ready to meet anyone that's willing to join and put some hard work in. Okay. Thanks, ladies. Here I am with Tanya, who is temporarily on the injured list with the dance group. And for some of you who may not know it, dancing was actually nominated as the second most injurious sport at one time. And Tanya here is going to share her experience of what happened with her injury. Um, well, I was just practicing one day and just kind of fell and sprained my ankle. Oh, what were you doing when you fell? Was doing spins or yeah. jumps? Spins? Spin. Well, it was like a solo. spin jump solo, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what part did you injure? Uh, my ankle. Ankle. How long is the recovery going to be? Um, it depends how I take care of it. Okay. So you're just resting it, keeping it on ice? How are you treating it right now? Um, like normal. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the first couple of days were rough. Okay. Just sit there and just lay in bed, but. Okay. So how does it feel to not be able to dance right now? It sucks. Okay. <laughs> Okay, cool. Thanks. Oh, come on, Jay, don't be. Why are you happy with me? I'm sweet, but uh. Yeah, guys, let's surround him. There you go. Russ, Russ. No, no, we have a good time. Okay, oh, we will. This is Jay. Okay, what brought you to the group? Well, I actually had a friend in the group that I went to see him at the Holiday Folk Fair, which is in West Dallas. Mm -hmm. and I just thought it was pretty cool, so because I saw them doing all these flips and and, <laughs> and tricks and everything, I'm like, wow, I, I want to do that. Okay. So I came to a practice and mm -hmm. just started learning little by little, and eventually got to the bigger stuff, and just. <laughs> so had you had you danced okay. before before you came to the group? Any, um, not at all. Dancing before? No other experience. All right. Okay. Any other sports outside of the group? Not really. My Not even skateboarding or <laughs> okay. So what do you think as far as um, athleticism that's required here? I think you get more workout than any other sport out there. 
Just name anything, I think this is way more. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, and you handle the public relations for the day. Right now, um, we basically have just recently started doing this where we have actually uh, like a board and committees. We have fundraising, we have social, mm -hmm. Tanya's our social. Um, Stephanie's our fundraiser, obviously. Amy's our director. Russ is in charge of teaching the guys and doing some choreography. And um, I do publicity along with Andrea's help and um, marketing. So, okay. yes. Now, how does it work with traveling as far as passports and visas and all that? Basically, it's not that difficult. Passports are thankfully a lot easier to get now than they were. Mm -hmm. um, basically, we just you can go to Walgreens and get a passport now. And the majority of the places you don't have to have usually um, too many immunizations or anything like that. So okay. it's it's pretty simple. We just make sure that it's all done well in advance. <laughs> okay. Any other travel tips for traveling with a big group so you don't lose anyone? You know, it's actually not that easy. <laughs> um, we've even done things such as a number system. We definitely have one person in charge. It's usually the director. Mm -hmm. And what they do is we get assigned numbers when we arrive on the bus. Countdown is easiest. Way to go. Mm -hmm. That way, if there's a number missing, you know, <laughs> and you know who it is. Okay. Um, plus, we pretty much so have a buddy system here. Everybody gets along really well, and we have um, everyone looks out for each other. So that's a nice okay. way of doing it, too. All right. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Somebody yeah. that wants to dance, start dancing. Get up and dance. Okay. <laughs> Just it. do it. It's fun. It's enjoyable. It's a blast. <laughs> You'll learn a whole bunch of things, get a whole bunch of new friends, and get good exercise. <laughs>
a lot of fellow dancers. Hope you learned a few new dance moves yourselves. And most importantly is how to avoid a lot of injuries and stay safe so you can keep dancing. See you next time on location. This is Gina Rachmaninova.